a few weeks before shooting, T-Bone came out here and got Avatar Studios, which is one of the last few fully analog studios in the city. And then I started working with them, played some of the arrangements of the songs that I liked. And then we just started working on them and trying, you know, hey, why don't you try an E minor here instead of the C? And, you know, maybe try doing it in 3 4 instead of 4 4. We realize there are more actors who can sing and play than there are musicians who not necessarily can act but can carry a movie in a lead role, which is a different thing. Here's this. You used to like this. I've heard you do that really too. Yeah, I think we found it, but then I like, lost it a little bit, and I, I've been experimenting with keys. I think I'm trying it a little bit lower, but like, I've got to figure out the verses. Come in the car, the game. Since I was 12, I've been playing guitar, and when I started prepping for this movie, I really immersed myself in this kind of thing, this Travis picking and, and this particular style. Listening to a lot of Lead Belly of Reverend Gary Davis and all these guys. He had played guitar when he was a kid, so he had dexterity and he had some ability, but he was starting out six months before we filmed and learning a whole repertoire. He, he's, it's really astounding. I earn my keep and I paid my rent and I earn The thing we didn't know until we got together where they even started working through it was how deep he could go. And the answer to that was he could go as deep as he was asked to go as he wanted to go. You know, he just continued to come more and more the character. Sweating or cold, growing up, growing old, or dying. As we hunt the bonny shoals of the hair, 